All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn some things, some crazy things. Maybe you already knew these things. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. I'm going to show you some things, though. Crazy things. These crafted cards and why they're too overpowered. At least I think they are. And they're going to bring a lot of changes to the game. Like, I'm going to show you in this video uh, that I hit 11 million in squad battle. Apparently, there was a cap. I know there was a cap. I know I'm not the only one who hit the cap. Other people are hitting this cap. Yeah. And by the way, if you hit the cap, it actually doesn't even register. You got to run it again. How crazy is that? But I'm going to show you these cards and why they're so crazy and why changes are going to be coming in the game. I mean, people are going to be hitting the cap on squad battle. Everybody's hitting cap on ABX now, at least every single day except one day over the course of two weeks. They're going to be raising that cap without a doubt. And in these cards, like my average run in, in Danger Room Extreme is like 20 seconds. It's not supposed to be like that. That's craziness. So I'm going to show you these cards. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with them. How I'm strategizing, moving forward with them. Let's take, let's take a look. Hey, yo. What's up? All right. Let's pop on over to these cards, right? You want to see my cards? Let's take a look at these cards. All right. So I think I might be further along than anybody else. I don't Maybe there's somebody out there. I haven't seen them. People are telling me I'm further along. But a reason for that is because I haven't been re-rolling my cards really at all. I think I re-rolled I re each one of my cards one time. This card, one time, just one roll. This card, one time. And this card, one time. So I haven't been sitting on each one of my cards going for the best stats, right? In particular, all attack. Uh, I know a lot of guys going for that stat. And it's not a bad idea. It's a pretty good idea because, you know, you're essentially getting getting double out of that card. So I'm, I'm behind in, in, in that sort of way, but I'm ahead in another way. And I'll try to explain this to you. So I think what I'm doing is smart because, so essentially you want, you know, you, you, you want all the stats you need, plus you, you want those blue stars. The blue stars seem to be really OP. And, you know, the, the pure stat seems to be really OP. So, like, I need attack speed really bad because I'm lacking it on my regular card stats. So this attack speed right here, essentially I want that to I want that star to be blue. I want all blue stars. So I'm hoping to get attack speed on a different card, right? Preferably a blue stat on a different card. And then I can go back to this card, right? Have have that stat. Because if, if I lose attack speed now, I'm gonna be pretty SOL. My attack speed is going to be super low. And if I have attack speed on another card besides this one, it's going to be too high. So I could afford to have one stat as attack speed. So essentially say I get it on, you know, this baby spider card that I haven't rolled yet. Then I can go back to this card without really feeling too bad and trying to re-roll that star as as blue. And, you know, if it's blue and not attack speed, it's it's really... No big deal. So that, that's one example of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to finish all my cards, and then I'm going to go back and re, you know, I'm going to re-roll and re-roll until I, you know, I have all attack and and hopefully you know blue stars. I know it's going to be it's going to be a, an uphill battle with the terrible RNG in this game, but that is my plan with the cards. And you can see, so I don't have it on the Luna card, but I do have additional Pierce damage on. Three of my cards equaling up to 6% additional pierce damage. And I think that combined with the high attack on my cards is allowing me to go past this cap. It's allowing me to exceed the cap in squad battle. Um, so you'll see I had 11 million something. Um, you, you'll see later in the run. Um, I'm going to show you the video. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, let's go back to my cards here. 
Um, so you'll see in the video that, uh, you know, a couple things I'm going to, I'm trying to give you some tips. Um, so with, with Luna, you know, I, I just, I always try to, I always try to prioritize two before one and three, right? You want that reset constantly. So sometimes I'll even wait a second before, you know, if two's not off cooldown and but one is, I, I might just even wait an additional second for that two to come off cooldown. Um, I mean, I think everybody knows how to play Luna. Um, you know, I, I think maybe just more from observing, see what I do. Um, sometimes I don't, I don't sit on that tier three waiting for the, you know, the perfect proc timing for, you know, to, to, to let it, let it go. Um, I think you're doing more harm than good. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, you don't, you don't want to hit it at a completely off time. Like, you know, if you're three seconds into your proc, I don't think you want to hit it then. That would, that would be like, you know, that would be terrible. So, you know, preferably you want to hit it at like one second on the proc or when the proc's not active. Um, that's at least the way, you know, I play her. It's the way I understand that she's, you know, best played with her tier three. But most of her damage is coming from her tier three. And I'll tell you, before the card crafting came along, I was scoring like over 7 million was a good run for me uh, with Luna at that point. And you know what? Here, let me show you her build. I'll show you her stats. So this way you can pretty much gauge where you could or should be at, um, depending on your Luna, her, where her energy, energy attack is, her stats, so on and so forth. So 55, like 55 and a half um, thousand, we'll call it. She has, let's see, one, two, three, mission three. So she has 17 Odin's Blessings. You know, I'll just pull up her stat page. So, capped on everything except, well, ignore defense just by, just by a little bit. Way over capped on a lot of, a lot of different things. Rage, of course, uh, and maxed out, um, ISO weight set. So, um, and like I said, you, you actually don't want to hit the cap. You want to, you want to stay like, I, I, someone said it was 10 million you want to stay under. So, you know, keep that in mind. If, if you're, you know, almost at 10 million, just stop, stop playing. Right, just just die. Well, you don't want to die. You'll start losing points, but just run around. Don't get hit and stall your score. Um, other things, I think people already know about this. The the light orbs, right? You you want to at the end of round two, you want to switch your character that saves a light orb. Um, also, you want to hit the co op button, right? And I know this until recently, actually. Depending on how long your animation is in effect on the co-op button will stall that many lights so you know maybe you know you maybe you can you know do some skill preview and, and see who has a longer animation on their skill when you hit the co-op button but in this i actually messed up because i killed all the mobs and then when i hit the co-op button i think there was like one mob out and it died right away so i actually didn't even get i only had two going into the last round but um essentially what you want to do is don't attack you want as many mobs on the field as, as possible and when you hit that co-op button so this way the animation is longer and preferably i think i think i i hit it with white fox but i think you have it on colson you have it on Col or not colson fury you have it on fury and white fox you want to hit it i think when you have fury out because well depending on who your weaker tune is if you you know if they're gonna you know kill them right away um so essentially if you have like a tier one character um, you know, the animation would run longer because the mom's not going to die right away. So take that into effect. But I, I've been able to have, I think, five, go, five, you know, of the of the light orbs going into round three with Surter, which is huge. So the store, I mean, the score could even go higher, but I, I don't want to go higher. So depending on where you're at, depending on where your count is at, where you're at with your cards, how much energy tech you have, how your build is on Luna. Or, you know, I don't know how much of this actually, how much of the, the, the Pierce um, has an effect on this. I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I can't say for certain. I haven't done, like, real hard, you know, testing and, you know, studies, and I don't, I don't have the data. But um, I, I, I think the Pierce is, is pretty OP. So depending on where you're at on that, uh, you know, you're trying to get the high score possible. Uh, take those things into, into account. All right, so I, th I think that's enough said. 
Um, oh, before I let you guys go here, um, I do have some null play. So maybe for some of the guys who don't have their account built up as much as as much as I do, um, you can get an idea of where you could essentially be at when you do get your cards crafted, when you do have pierce damage on your cards. Um, so right now I'm on stage nine null, and I'm, I'm clearing it pretty pretty easily. So I have, a, I have a couple runs that are recorded with different teams, and uh, I'm clearing it pretty easily. Um, so if anyone's having trouble clearing all, or you know you're trying to get to higher higher stages, um, you can see wh where I'm at. I, I know I can go higher. I just haven't either met all the requirements for ten because I just haven't been you know pushing it. I'm, I'm going to try to now, or you know I just I haven't spent the crystals. I might you know um, bypass some of those um, requirements by spending some crystals and seeing just how high I can actually go. Um, so if you guys want to see some of that stuff, uh, you know, let me know. I'll do my best to, you know, give a in-depth and, and, and breakdown of that. Also, if you're enjoying this content and you want to, you know, you want to see more because, you know, this is a super new channel. Um, you guys, you know, liking the, the video and subscribing goes, you know, a long way and helps me out tremendously. So please do that. That would be awesome. And another thing I want to touch on is... I mean, they have to be increasing the, the cap on squad battle, right? A lot of people are probably, probably going to be hitting that cap. Also, yeah, ABX. I mean, that, that cap's got to be getting increased. Um, I, yeah, I mentioned it before. You know, everybody is hitting cap on, on, on these days. And, you know, like other game modes, like some of these game modes are just going to be too easy. Like I said, you know, Danger Room Extreme. 20 second run, you know, 20, maybe, you know, 30 seconds for an average run with with most most of my tunes if it's longer than that it's 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 an odd situation another odd situation is that i won't shut the hell up so i'm gonna go hope you enjoyed this like and subscribe and adios amigos oh boy you thought it was gone didn't you nope wrong you were so one very important thing that I forgot to mention that I overlooked. I have no idea how I did it, but one of the reasons why all of this is possible is this uniform here. Without it, I think it's still definitely possible. Um, last time I ran squad battle, uh, I got about 9.5 with, with Luna, and that was before an additional 2% pierce damage on my cards. But I, I think I probably still could if I wanted to push, I don't really try pushing, but this uniform is your bread and butter right here, baby. And it's because the additional uniform effect here. Let's check that out. Additional 15% attack plus the chain hit damage. Uh, also, I believe, let's see, this passive, uh, it's an additional 5% plus the decreased damage from supervillains, which doesn't really matter here in this case. But this uniform, if you don't have it, I strongly suggest to get it, paying the, the small price, right? I believe it's about $20 because you get 10 of those tokens at, um, from the check-in reward at the end of the week. So if you don't have this uniform, definitely go out and get it, 100%. All right, on that note, it's the official goodbye. Adios, amigos.